So let us uh, come back to present perfect. Today we are discussing present perfect tense. You know what is present perfect? Present means at present. The action which happens at the present time. That is present. But here present perfect is there. Present perfect. When we speak about the present perfect, it has a structure like all other tenses. Let us see what is the structure of present perfect. Subject will be after the subject have or has. Have or has plus third form of the verb is used. Third form after compulsory part is object. Subject and objects are the first part and the last part of any sentence. So have and has, there are two helping verbs here. You can find the helping verbs. In English, already I said, there are two tenses without helping verb. That is simple present and simple past. Simple present and simple past, there is no helping verb. Without helping verb. Remaining all the tenses has, tense have, has, uh, there is a helping verb. Here, we have two helping verbs. That is have and has. Okay? Have and has. Let us see one example. I have done my homework. I have done my homework is the example given here. What do you understand? If I say, if I speak, I have done my homework. Homework completed. Homework has finished. I have done my homework means homework over. At present, I am free. That is the meaning of I have done my homework. When this tense is used, if we speak in detail, uh, the tense is mainly used with uh, an action which uh, started in the past and happening still sometimes. An action which began in the past. And action sometimes uh, happens or continues still. So we can call this present perfect as a Mixture of past and present. Mixture of past. This is the mixture. Two tenses mixed. Present tense mixed with past tense. Mixture of past and present. So uh, we can understand that this, this tense is to express the past events as well as to express the present events. Okay. Uh, right. Then it has, a, as like any other tenses, uh, it has also negative forms, question forms, everything. Negatives and questions. We can frame as a negatives and questions at the same time. Okay. So you know the methods of framing of negatives and questions. Negative, when we listen, we remember that it is the negation with a not. We have to use not with the helping verb. What is the helping verb here? There are two helping verbs. That is have and has. Have and has are the two helping verbs. With this have and has, we should add not, then haven't or have not, hasn't, has not, we'll get has not and haven't. With this, uh, we should use the main verb. Here, I would like to familiarize or bring into your notice in this tense. This is the first time we use, we are going to familiar with third form of the verb is called past participle. Okay. Past participle. What is past participle? Already you know. Until present participle, we have learned. V1 over, V2 completed. V3 is today. V3. Okay. This is V3. We are using V3 here. So I hope that you all understood. V1, V2, V3. Already V4, ING4. Already we completed in all the progressive tenses. Now all the progressive tense major main verb is... ING form of the verb. ING form of the verb is the present participle of verb. Here, we are using the third form of the verb. Third form of the verb, you know. V1, V2, V3. Speak, spoke, spoken. The third form we have. To. I have spoken. I have spoken. I have spoken something to my friends. I have, I have spoken something to my friend here. Uh, spoken is the third form. That is the major verb. So, have is the helping form. Another, I would like to already you know 
this is the method for any subject. We can use any subject, but based on the subjects, depending on the subject, we must use the helping verb. It is our duty. What, what should be the helping verb we should decide? For example, there are two helping verbs here. When to use have. In short, I can write here the first, first person is I and we. I and we together. Let me write here I and we. Second is you. Or you and they. They with these with these subjects, with these subjects, we can use have is the verb. Have is the helping. Have. Have is the helping. And uh, what are the other uh, other subjects? He he is used as a common subject. She is also the subject. He she it. He she it. Uh, here all the pronouns mainly we use the pronouns. Pronouns are the subjects. You can use any names as like all other tenses. As in like all other tenses, you can use any form any subjects, any pronoun as a subject or any noun as a subject. But here, he, she, it, these three, after you have to use has. After that, you have to use has. Because the reason this is the singular. These three are singular nouns, singular pronouns. Okay? These are all plural considered. Then you will have a doubt I, what about I? I is singular, but it is considered as plural. So after I, you have to use always, always plural verb. Okay. After I, I have, I have, I, he has, she has, it has. Here, I finished my work. Finished. I finished. My work, if I take any object, my work is the object. I finish my work. This is the verb form. Here, done, if I take another verb, done, done. Two verbs I have taken for two. Done. It, I have done it. She has done it. It has done. It has done. So in this way, we have finished my work. We have finished here my place. Sometimes our we can use, there we can use, there and your, etc. We can use some changes we can make in sentence. Here they have finished my work is wrong. They have finished their work. You have finished your work. You have finished your work. In this way, uh, according to the number of the subjects, that is number of the subject. What is the number of the subject? Singular number and plural number. There are two numbers, singular number and plural number. So these all are considered as the plural number. So plural sub, plural verb is used. That is, have is the auxiliary verb, plural. And the main verb, main verb is the third form of the verb. There is no doubt about that. Always third form of the verb is used. Okay. The next, here she, he, she, it, they are singular. After singular, we have to use has. Any name, if you take here Ram, for example, Ram has done the work. Ram has done it. Ram has cleaned the room. Or my mother has cleaned the room, etc. In this way, any singular noun or pronoun you can use as a subject, singular helping verb is has. Any plural, if you use, plural helping verb is have. After that, both common verb is third form of the verb. After the common thing you have to remember is, after have and has, compulsory we must use only third form of the verb. That is, past participle it is called. Past participle form of the verb must be used. Okay? Then, let us go to the some other negatives. How to frame the negatives? Here, already have is there. I just add one not here. N or T, I add in the middle. Not. Just add not, then the sentence becomes negative. Negation. How? We have not finished the work. 
we have not done it she has not he has not done he has not done it in this way we can frame the sentence this is one way of framing the sentence or they have after not they have not finished their work they have not finished their work okay in this in this way we can frame the negative already not is not is always added with you know the helping verbs not is always added with the helping verb that is have and has other helping verbs here so it is very clear now positive sentence positive constructions and negative constructions you understood very clearly uh, let me go with the what are the uses of present perfect forms let me guide you towards the uses of a present perfect tense already we so here what are the uses of a present perfect present perfect mainly used to express the just completed action just completed action just completed action means you know you know well just completed action is an action finished just before an action finished just before for example my father has just gone out my father has just gone out means it is a just completing completed action whenever an action completed just before or just now a little time earlier is called just completed action just completed actions can be expressed with the help of present perfect tense here just finished actions just finished actions just finished action first one that is he has just he has just gone out just gone out sometimes see, we can say that uh, power has just gone power has just gone out so this is uh, just before an action happened is uh, expressed with the help of present perfect then another already an action completed but its result is still remaining an action already completed but the result is still remaining is called present perfect action completed action completed still the result remains the result remains such action also with present perfect for example we say that it has rained it has rained means already water is outside we can see we can see water stagnated outside so the result remains so it has it has rained it has rained means already rained and water is there that is the result another way we can say that i have passed my 10th class i have passed the 10th class means already certificate is there with me still already the work action finished and the certificate is still with me then we can use present perfect tense so the next one is unfinished started in the past unfinished actions unfinished actions unfinished actions means i have i will work to in this office since uh, 2000 i have worked i have worked i have worked in this office in this office i have worked in this office uh, since uh, since 2010 since 
I worked in this office since 2010 means 2010 is the starting point. Starting point. Started my work in 2010. Still, I am working in the same office. That is the meaning. I have worked in this office since 2010. It shows that unfinished action. Action not completed completely. Fully not completed. Entirely the action is not completed, not stopped. It is going on still. We have lived in Mumbai. We have lived in Mumbai since, uh, since 2002. Since 2002 means we started living in Mumbai in 2002 and continues to live in Mumbai still. That is the meaning. So in this way, three ways, just finished action means an action completed just before, just now. And another an action completed, uh, completed, still the result remains. Result still remains, already the action over, the work already completed, but the result we can find, we can see such kind of actions can be expressed with the help of present perfect. Also, the last one is unfinished actions. Action which began in the past, but still it continues. It is not stopped. Such kind of activities also can be expressed with the help of present perfect tense. Okay. I hope that, my dear friends, you understood what, what are the uses of present perfect. Another uh, commonly used uh, some time adverbs are there in this. What are the time adverbs? You know, just, just now, just before. Recently, recently, just, just before. Uh, these words are commonly used with uh, this tense form. Okay. And also questions, how to frame the questions. Negatives I showed you here. How to make the questions, uh, you know. Of already helping verbs are there. When there are helping verbs, what is the method of framing the question? You know, what is the method of framing the, in the questions? First, we have to use it. First, we have to use helping verbs at the beginning. For example, I have done my homework is there. Have is here. Have is placed at the beginning. Have is placed at the beginning. Have I done? Have I done? done my homework have i done my homework is the question have i done my homework is the yes or no question it is called as a yes or no question yes or no questions because answer will get yes i have done or no i haven't done this is the answer in this way we can ask have can be placed at the beginning. Has is also placed at the beginning. Have or has when we place at the beginning, it becomes a separate question. We get that question is called a present perfect question. Yes or no question. Another one, has she, has she written the exam? 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 Yes, she has written. No, she hasn't. The answer is yes, she has. No, she hasn't. We got. This is the question format. Two just a model I have shown you here. If you want WH questions, what, which, when, and were. What, when, were. These question words can be placed before the auxiliary verb that is have or has. Before have or has, if you please, uh, what, which, when, where, why, how, who, whom. These question words. Then the question format will be changed and the meaning also will get a detailed question can be framed. For example, what if I take, what have, what have you, what have you done today? What have you done today is the question. What have you done today? Means I have done some work. Or I, have, I have written my notes or such kind of a detailed answer we get. These kinds of questions can be asked. Then another question. When, when has, has she, when has she met you? Met you. When has she met you? Where, if you will take where, 
uh, how uh, how they they and changing here subjects changed and has and how changed according to the number of the subject where have they gone where have they gone where have they gone in this way we can frame the question so these uh, questions uh, gives the detailed answer these are called wh questions or these are yes or no questions and wh questions how to frame in present perfect yes or no questions wh questions and also negation this all we have learnt we have learnt means already learnt and the result is with you its result is with you so a lot of examples you can practice a number of examples you can practice later so i am giving the opportunity to practice a lot of uh, meanwhile i would like to tell one more thing here in this uh, present perfect we can use two words two words particularly that is uh, since and for can be found since and for these two words since since and uh, since and for these two words are used with the present perfect and present perfect continuous generally these two words at the end they are the time showing words they are since is used to express the period of time period of uh, period of time period of time means long period um sorry no, point of time this is a uh, point of time point of time and for is for period of time period of time period of time one is for point of time is sharp time for example since since 9 o'clock since 9 o'clock if i speak since 9 o'clock we can say since 9 o'clock since monday means from monday that is the meaning since monday since january since 2000 any year any correct point of time any sharp time if you want to speak in a sentence you can use since before it in present perfect tense for example uh, i i i will uh, begin 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 i have begun my journey journey at since since monday since monday i have begun my journey since monday means monday onwards i started my journey still i continue my journey that is the meaning i have begun my journey since monday means monday onwards i started it the same way they how they have played they have played the match the match for 2 hours 2 hours they have played the match for 2 hours means 2 hours onwards they are playing and they are not completed they have played the match for 2 hours means still they are playing that is the meaning still they are playing they played for two hours and uh, continuous uh, the action still continues so we can say that uh, the action will continue in uh, present time still this is the meaning of present continuous sorry present perfect these two since and for can be used in in present perfect sentences okay and finally i would like to tell you one more thing the difference between the present perfect and simple past for example two sentence i write here one is simple past this is simple past simple past another is present perfect present perfect here what is the difference in both completed action already i said to you this is the um, mixture of present and the past uh, example i i met him i met him i met him yesterday i can say yesterday i met him yesterday is correct okay 
here i met him i have i have i have met him i have met him both the meaning is same i met him yesterday the time you can mention with the simple past that is v2 this is v2 here have and v3 this is v3 have plus v3 so in simple past i met him here v2 directly used and the time of action can be mentioned if it is necessary but here in present perfect you cannot use it you cannot use it uh, time past time cannot be mentioned here okay i hope you people understood very clearly these two difference you have to uh, experience now let me guide you towards whatever we have learned today once let us see so this is the present perfect you can see i hope you can see present perfect tense and a positive i have seen i have not seen have i seen is the question you have seen you haven't seen uh, have you seen uh, he has seen he has not seen and he, has he seen etc all these uh, uh, all the sentences are here then what about uh, question wh questions also i mentioned there so the then next uh, let us see the some more examples i would like to <coughs> give you here some more example a lot of examples are there before us so here uh, have you seen and uh, this all you know then another uh, related to this uh, total tense details uh, i would like to give you here all the total details about the present perfect tense and uh, the structures what i have written here subject have has plus uh, past participle i have tried uh, uh, tried sushi uh, subject have not or has not plus past participle i have not try sushi have has plus subject plus past participle <coughs> and uh, the usage is everything here uh, remaining all the things uh, i uh, use just everything you can get it i will send to you oh, let us see uh, some more sentences some more sentences this all the sentences are in affirmative sentences and they are uh, in present perfect lot of sentences are there but i, I don't want to uh, waste your more time so you can see i have been to singapore uh, means once now also i am in singapore i have been to england three times means three times i went there and still i am there alice has studied two foreign languages you have grown taller since here you you see the since you see, since the last time i saw you uh, the government has become more interested in science and math uh, education japanese has become one of the most popular course uh, at the university since the asian studies program was established in this way in all the sentences you can see have or has plus third form of the verb okay now let me see uh, let me show you a short video from this video you can find the usage of uh, <laughs>